Okay, here we have the module set up. We're looking at the square wave or pulse wave output. We've got the pulse width set to minimum. Pay no attention to where the lines are on the knobs. I just kind of stuck them on at random. But pulse width is at minimum. Pulse width uh, modulation level is set at minimum as well. This attenuator doesn't exist in Wilson's design but of course with Wilson's design you could take a control voltage and run it into an attenuator module and then from there into this and then turn the knob on the attenuator module it would be the same thing so we've just moved the attenuator module into the LFO module now if we look at the pulse width here as I turn the knob you can see it doesn't change very much it changes a little bit from less than 50% to greater than 50% but not very much okay now if I set the pulse width to minimum and if I turn up the pulse width modulation level this is with nothing plugged into the pulse width modulation there's no control voltage here I'm just turning a knob that's connected to an empty jack and when I turn that you can see the pulse width gets a lot narrower I've got it up to maximum pulse width has gone down quite a lot and now if I manipulate the pulse width knob it gets to a much larger width. So the range of pulse width depends upon the setting of the pulse width modulation level knob even with no pulse width modulation control voltage plugged in.